Well, I'll tell you. I wake up this morning, I say, fuck it. Start my diet, because last night, I ate an entire box of Cheez-Its. How good are Cheez-Its? How good are the sharp cheddar Cheez-Its? And I, when I, how I eat a Cheez-It is I, I nurse them, even though I eat the whole fucking box. 12 servings, 170 calories, 1,400 calories, ate the whole box. I lick every one to get the salt off. Then I put it in my mouth, and I saliva it to death. And then it's gone. Eat a box of Cheez-Its. Still fucking starving, but I don't want to go to the ice cream. I said I had enough ice cream. I did not binge last night on the cherry vanilla. I did not go Rocky Road, chocolate, no ice cream. Okay, but I'm still fucking hungry because the carbs are working in my body. And then what do I do? Triscuits. I go straight up Triscuits. Not these whole wheat Triscuits. Not these fat free Triscuits. I went Triscuits and I ate the whole fucking box same way. Suck the salt, let the saliva dissolve each individual one, bang! Hung over on just carbs, fall asleep. Wake up and what do I see? A-Rod in the news again. Is this motherfucker, is his career over? Is his life over? You know what I think happened? I think he's the type of guy that fucks so many women dumped his wife, he needed a little excitement. Some of what Richard Gere did years ago. I think he stuck a tube up his ass, and the gerbil went in the tube to eat his asshole, because it's supposed to be an incredible, amazing, orgasmic experience. Probably what happened, the gerbil ran away, and bit him in the fucking the thigh, and that's why he has to get hip surgery, this stupid bastard motherfucker. I'll tell you right now, Yankee fans really want his fucking head, so I'm listening to the fans this morning, they just want the guy axed. Hey, let's pay the fucking guy 300 million and then fucking ax him. Why the fuck not? And I'll tell you right now, if you haven't been watching late night TV, David Letterman is just fucking rolling the entire week. He has U2 on. Last night he read the top 10 things and U2 read it themselves. Just priceless fucking material. And they've been playing a song at the end of every single segment. Unbelievable. U2, this new album, fucking back. It is just rocking and rocking and rolling. What I'm going to do this tomorrow morning, normally around middle of March, what I do is I buy new sneakers. Every three months, I, I wear down my sneakers, and I normally go for the running sneakers because years ago, I used to be a runner. Years ago, I was a runner, and I looked like this. How cute is that guy? Look how good I look there. That's Mr. Thinny. That's me running. Used to run between 7 to 10 miles a shot, maybe 1 or 2 15s a week. I was just fucking amazing. And then this one up top here again. How cute am I? How good looking am I? So again, tomorrow I'm going to start the running again. And normally what I do is I buy my new sneakers. Can't run right now, obviously. I'll fucking die on the path. There's not a, de there's not a, you know, not a doubt about it. My legs will rub together. We've gone through this. My thighs, it seems like somebody's behind me, but really it's my thighs rubbing. Chafing, my ball bag will go on fire. I'll singe all the hair on my ball bag. Who needs that? Who wants to do that? But I'm going to buy the new sneakers because I got to do something. Can't stop eating. I'm not stopping eating today. I'm going to go veal palm hero. I'm going to back it up with a chicken palm hero, and I'm going to go a large calzone. Okay, that's what I'm going to eat. Then for lunch, I'm having ham Smith, ham Swiss, lettuce, tomato, mayo, a bag of Ruffles potato chips, and I'm going to go fruit salad because I'm watching what I'm eating, because, you know, the fruit salad's good. That looks like the day. My buddy John Allen tonight, my little boy, the main man, has a playoff basketball game. I'm going to go to the game, and I'm one of those assholes in the crowd. Hey, give my son the fucking ball! Hey, you suck! Coach, you suck! Hey, coach, your kid sucks! Give my kid the fucking ball! Probably get thrown out of the game at halftime. Got to take this obesity out on somebody, because I'm just so fucking angry. That's really how it's going to go. That's what I'm going to do. Then tonight at dinner, I'm just going to eat soup, two nuts, chicken cutlets my wife's making. I know already. Rice awarney, scallop baked potatoes, two different types of salads. We go Caesar, and we could just go regular romaine lettuce with oil vinegar. And then tonight, I'm going to eat the ice cream that I didn't eat last night, and I start my diet tomorrow morning. Let's see what I weigh right now, because this morning for breakfast was a big breakfast, too. I had what's called an egg with the hole in the middle. Taste it, take a piece of white bread, cut a square in between the white bread. You take the little square out, butter 
in the pan. No pan, butter. As much fucking butter as you can. You fry the bread one side, flip it over, fry the bread the other, then you put the egg right in the middle. So it's called an egg with a hole in the middle. Then you take a little piece of bread and you fry it both sides so it's greasy with butter. You eat your egg with the hole in the middle by dipping the bread in the egg. It's unbelievable. My mother made that. It's fucking incredible. Egg with the hole in the fucking middle. Sway myself. And I gotta go to fucking work. I don't know what the fuck you're even doing watching this. Go to fucking work! Earn a fucking living! Make some fucking money! Oh, this is your lunch break. I'm making you laugh. It's what I fucking do! I'm a funny fucking guy! Two fifty eight. Just staying steady at an obese hundred pound weight gain of two fifty eight. Love you! Back with you on Friday. Bye bye.